Hello and welcome to the world of NDE 4.0. My name is Johannes Vrana and today is a great day because today we will be getting into a very important topic of Industry 4.0, of NDE 4.0, of all those fourth revolutions. And it's a topic of terminology. It's about what is digitization, what is digitalization, what is digital transformation? What is the difference between the three of them? And I guess you have heard all those three terms, but there is a fourth one I have to throw into the mix, and that's informatization. And informatization is perhaps not as well known, so I will include it in this video. So let's get started. Now, what I will do, I will now start discussing what is digital. And you might already know what is digital and you want to get into the discussion about difference between those three terms. So what I will do, like I do it with every video, I will actually make chapters. So you can directly go to whatever is most interesting for you and just watch that part. But now let's get started with digital. Digital is binary information. Now you all know decimal numbers. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on until we reach the 9. So we have 10 numbers. Binary information is information only using two numbers, a 0 and a 1. And now if we compare a little bit decimal to binary and to how to convert those two, what do we do with the decimal numbers? We have our numbers going from 0 to 9, and once we reach the 9, we do not have any more any symbol, any number we could use to display the 10 just as one letter. We have to do to a two-digit number, which is the 10. Then we continue until we reach the 19, then we come to the 20. Once we reach the 99, we are out of the two-digit numbers. And we need a three-digit number. Now we can use the same principle for binary numbers. We start with the zero, we continue with the one. But now we are already out of our variety of numbers. We only have two, not ten. So if we want to transfer the decimal two, this is actually in binary, or to say it differently, after the nine in decimal we had to come to a ten. After the 1 in binary, we have to come to a 10. So a 2 in decimal becomes a 10 in binary, and a 3 in decimal becomes an 11 in binary. So again, we are out in binary, out of our variety of two-digit numbers. Now we already need a three-digit number, so we continue with the 100. And once we reach our 100 in decimal, this actually becomes a seven-digit number in binary. So this is digitization. It's the transition from analog to digital. Um, and we already talked about one example for digitization in the video about data security. And I will leave the link to that video right here. Uh, what we did is we had an analog phrase, a word, a sentence, some phrase out of some letters. And we wanted to digitize this analog information. And for that, we used some sort of an encoding. And that encoding is actually called UTF-8, the 8-bit Unicode transformation format, which is based on ASCII, which is the American standard code for information interchange. And what we did, we looked here on this phrase, the seven letter phrase, NDE space 4.0. And to digitize it, we used this UTF-8 encoding, and therefore the N became actually this 8-bit number. 01001110. And we did it for every single letter, including the space in the middle. And what a computer does is actually it takes all this binary information and puts it together. And this is the information, the 
digital information the computer uses internally. Now this was the analog information in form of a word, in form of a sentence, which we digitized. If we want to digitize a waveform, which from an NDE standpoint, we are all very familiar, whether it's a UT waveform, whether it's eddy current, whether it's whatever. And let's say we have some sort of a time signal, we have some sort of an amplitude. And the digitization of this analog signal actually goes in two steps. First step is sampling. In this example, we're using a two hertz sampling. So we are using two samples for each second. So for our three, three second interval, which is displayed here, we have actually six sample points. Now what you can already see, actually those sample points are kind of following our analog information, but not really that good. So it might be necessary, depending on your situation, to use a more appropriate sampling rate. This is just for displaying and giving you the idea. Now, the second step, once we did the sampling, once we have those six points, then we come to the actual digitization. And let's use a pretty bad digitization using two bits, because this is a little bit showing better the way how it is done. And this is now a two-bit digitization actually allows us to differentiate between four different values. A zero, a one, a two, and a three. Those are our four values. So if I take our first sample, our first sample, yeah, this is at level number one. So actually the digital representation for this one is zero, one. The second value is at the, a three. Therefore we have a one, one. The closest dig, four, no, the, the closest two bit value to our third value is the two which is a one zero, and so on, and so on. And finally, we pack those six two-bit numbers together, and that's what our computer stores as our digital waveform. Now, if we go to a three-bit digitization, which actually allows eight values instead of the four, so we, it also allows values on the 0.5s in between. And what you can see on value number uh, four and five, it will change. And then we'll now switch back and forth so that you can see the difference. And you can immediately see that actually our signal is now following better our analog waveforms. And what changes is now we need three digits for every single sample point, three bits. And that's the information we get. Now, let's go to a four bit digitization. Now we have not four, not eight, but 16 values. And again, I will switch back and forth so that you can see the difference. And you can see it's getting way better than what we had before. What we have now is, now we have four bit values for each sample point. And that's, again, the information which is then stitched together and stored in our computer and used later on. So this is digitization. It's the transition from analog to digital. It's information being digitized. It's not processes being digitized. It's only information being digitized. With processes, we will hear in a minute what this is called. Now, examples for digitization. For example, if we think about communication, analog communication, writing a letter by hand. Digital communication, writing an email. Banking, analog banking, filling out a check. Digital banking, yeah, filling out the check on the web page. NDE. Analog UT instrument, digital in the e uh, instrument. In the e workflow, yeah, having paper based workflows for giving you your task, what you have to perform, 
or giving it to you in a digital form, for example, in an email or a PDF. Uh, that's digitization. Now we are coming to the next point, digitalization. Digitalization is now about processes and roles. Where we are using digitized information to simplify specific operations and processes. So now let's get once more into the examples. Communication. Yeah, with digitization we talked about, we are writing an email. Digitalization, on the other hand, that would be something like using WhatsApp, using Facebook Messenger. It's way easier to actually communicate doing this way. So therefore, we are simplifying our operations, our processes using those tools. For banking, yeah, now we can have a web page for wiring money. I don't have to go to the bank anymore. Or on NDE, we could use a digital workflow. So you have a tablet and you see on your tablet your task, what you have to do, and then finally you enter your results back into the tablet. Or you use augmented reality glasses. So what we can say is digitization, that's third revolution. Digitalization, now we are on the road to the fourth revolution. But still, we are in proprietary systems. And that's now what changes with digital transformation. Now, digital transformation clearly requires digitization. It requires several digitalization projects. It's clearly driven by digital infrastructures like networks and devices, by the availability of them by digital applications like mobile apps and web apps. But what it is really about is to exploit new business models, to exploit yeah, value-added chains by actually having automated communication between apps or tools or equipment from manufacturer A with manufacturer B using standard communication channels. And all of this for to, and to get to you a better customer experience. Not anymore using this tool for this and this tool for this. And if I want to transfer information from here to here, I actually have to retype it. No, an automatic stream. And not anymore in one, only from one, uh, from one manufacturer, but from different ones. I can select the best manufacturer for each of the components I want to use. So digital transformation is really a change of business models, a change of strategy, a change of society actually, and a change of thought processes. Now, if we think back about our example, communication and banking, now let's think about, okay, now we have our virtual assistant. And I tell my virtual assistant, I want to send a message to somebody else. So my virtual assistant knows all the messaging tools I have and he uses the best one to send that message to the person I want to send it to. Then perhaps I will also want to send yeah, my address. So it uses, the virtual assistant uses a web mapping tool to get my address and to, to send this information using the communication channel to somebody else. And at the same time, perhaps I have to pay for something. And again, I can use my virtual assistant to communicate with my e-banking and then to set, finally send the number. So you can see where this is coming from. It's really to give the customer a better experience, to have it in one flow, not to use this tool and then this tool and this tool and every time rewriting everything. Now we can transfer this to NDE. Let's say we have an inspection where we have to use an UT instrument, an ET instrument, and an RT instrument. So what I do is normally I type those reports for all of the three inspections by hand. Now, that's not the idea of NDE 4.0. Now it's UT, ET, and RT, all of them talking to the same digital workflow system, 
automatically talking. Not anymore you retyping. No, it's an automatic thing. You don't have to do anything. Then this tool is giving the results to an AI, to an AR, to a blockchain. Then this information is then perhaps condensed and sent directly to the customer who then uses it in his own ERP system, in his cloud for his IoT to actually improve his production. So overall, we are getting to a better customer experience, but actually nobody needs to think about how to do it because it's done automatically. And you can see that thought process change which needs to happen. And that will be quite a challenge for this industry. So what we talked about, digitization of information, this is te the technology basis, and this is the third revolution. Digitalization, now we are talking not anymore about digitization of information, but digitalization of processes and roles. Now we're talking about business processes, and we are on the road to the fourth revolution. But really the fourth revolution starts with digital transformation of businesses, strategies and societies. We're getting into a world of collaboration and we're getting into the fourth revolution. And what we need for this is number one, data transparency. And pretty soon I will be doing a video about this topic. And we need semantic interoperability. And there is already a video I did on this topic. So you will find the link right here. So now, we talked about those three topics. Now, what the heck is informatization? Randy Kluver defined informatization as the process by which information technologies, such as the World Wide Web and other communication technologies have transformed economic and social relations to such an extent that cultural and economic barriers are minimized. So let's see all those three terms, how they fit into informatization, digitalization or digitization. Let's start with Industry 3.0. Digitization, um, yeah, it is kind of a, a communication technology. It's this digital transformation. And it clearly transformed our economic and social relations. We already have experienced this. Digitalization, which is currently ongoing. Yeah, again, we're using information technologies and Again, it's transforming the economic and social relations. Now we are coming to digital transformation. And again, we are speaking about the same. We are using information technologies and we are transforming our economic and social relations. And each time our cultural and economic barriers were minimized with all three of them. So informatization is really a process. It's guiding us from one step of digital digitalization, digitalization, digital tra transformation to the next. So thank you for watching. Um, if you have any comments, any questions, feel free to ask them anytime. Next time we will talk about data transparency. As usual, you will find more information in the description. I hope you like this video. I hope you give me a thumbs up for this video. I hope you subscribe to this channel. I hope I will see you soon, so thank you and bye!